Hello everyone, this video I will show how you can clear the golden thief bug. Difficulty 3, 4, 5 as well as the Maya difficulty 1 to 5 at the rebirth 1. Now first let's look at the skill that is required for the golden thief bug. So for both you can use the different skill set but for all difficulty level you can use the same skill set. So now first let's uh, do golden thief bug. So for golden thief bug, the skill that you require will be the double hit, followed by the full throttle, which is the skill that you learn from rebirth one, and then followed by cure, and then followed by berserk. So the sequence use is important because you want to use the full throttle as well as a cure when it golden thief bug cast the increased dexterity which you miss a lot so you just take the opportunity to cure and once the effect is uh, gone then you can use the opposite and then you do your double hit so as you can see now it's uh, very fast because one of the reason for it that I have done this uh, much later because I have uh, to engross in the getting points for my uh, battle team and I forget to do the golden team part at my level is lower so I did it at uh, level 68 and I clear it in a breeze but uh, if you have difficulty clearing it then you just have to increase your power a bit and you should be able to do it and of course the pet that you use will also matter because you can see I use the Angeling which uh, give me heal and then the Mistress which uh, reduce the damage taken and then for Bogan as well as Vitata that is uh, increase the mag magic attack. So as you can see at the higher power level you can clear it in the breeze. So Next, let's uh, move on to the next difficulty level and let's quickly clear this up. Okay. So for Golden Thief Park, it's uh, important that you try to clear it early because the fragment that drop is highly randomized and especially for the main weapon as well as the side weapon as well as then the accessory will be the same for it will drop two, you need to drop two. So it's always better that you try early so that you can, by the time you get to level 70, you have collected the fragment that require for you to refine beyond level 70 or else you'll be stuck at, your equipment will be stuck at level 70. Okay, so again you can see I'm taking very minor damages, so I just cure, so this the only damage that you deal will be the double hit. Let's uh, go on to the final stage of golden thief bug. The difficulty is level five. Okay, again we'll be using the same skill. So if you cannot defeat me, that means you still need to power up a bit, or you just need to find your gems to a higher level so that you get additional bonus. Okay, let's uh, do this and see how fast we can clear it. Again, the double hit. Okay, followed by full throttle and then followed by cure and then berserk. Okay, then the double hit. Just rinse and repeat until you kill the golden thief bug. Difficulty level five. Well, as you can see here for difficulty level five, I just take a bit more damages, but I still go back to almost full health. Okay, and uh, it's going to be done soon. And double hit. Okay, we are done. Okay. Oh, and I got the offhand weapon refinement fragments good and with that I can awaken the artifact okay and this is the setup that I use so I have a 
mixtures as well as the angeling at the five heart intimacy and the Hogan and Yukata at the four heart intimacy. Okay, now let's set up the next skill set for Maya. So for Maya, you can use the same setup for difficulty one to five. So again, for the first skill, you will be using the double hit, and for second, will be preserve, then the third will be sleep, and then the final one will be stone curse. Okay, let's. Uh, Let's uh, finish off this with purpose before we go to the Maya difficulty one. Okay, again, this you just use back the same sequence because it will affect the timing of cast. Okay, now this is Maya, so again, the double hit. Followed by buzzer, and then this charge skill you use the sleep, and then finally the stone curse would be to just prevent her from curing. Okay, and you can see her HP go down quite fast, so you just prevent her from healing and prevent her from the using the charge skill because the charge skill will kill you in one hit, so it's important that the Sleep is at the third slot. Okay, now you unlock the artifact again. Okay, let's continue with uh, difficulty level two. Okay, again, let's look for to finish this uh, this purpose and then we'll proceed to Maya difficulty two. Hit. Followed by Berserk. Okay, this is the charge skill, so you use the sleep, and then when the stone curse, you will just in time to stop her from curing, and then just repeat and rinse. And then you can see the I'm not taking a lot of damage from her. Okay, and then I think next round it will be done. Okay, double hit or a bit more. Okay, that's it. Difficulty level 2, done. Okay, now let's uh, proceed to difficulty level 3. Okay. As you can see, for difficulty 1 and 2 is quite a breeze. So we've uh, just about 500,000 uh, power and level 68. At the all the skill level is uh, at level eight. Okay, so let's start the same routine again. The magic double hit, then berserk, then sleep, and then stone curse that will stop her from curing because you, if she start to cure, then all your damages will be reset again. So that is not a good sign. So that's why the sequence of this skill is very important because it will be just nice to counter all her spell. Okay. So, and if you get hit by her charge attack, you will be killed in one hit with a very strong attack. Okay, and now it's done. Difficulty level 3. So as you can see for difficulty 1 to 3 is not that difficult. The amount of HP that is lost is not great even for Mitch, but of course the main reason is because I'm using a mistress. So for mistress at the 5 hearts intimacy level will be reducing the damages by 15%. Then I got Maya for my orange pet for rebirth one, so actually it's quite a good pet for mage because it reduces the damages quite significantly. And 
now again for difficulty level 4, the same skill set again. Okay, now the stone curse will prevent her from curing. Okay, double hit, berserk, and then sleep to, prevent, to stop her charge skill, and then finally stone curse to stop her from curing. So if at any point of time you if you miss one sequence then you may need to retry again because this is the skill set that is uh, proven that you can take her down. Okay, it's almost done. Okay, more hit, double hit. Stone curse ah it's done. Difficulty level four is done now. And now finally let's go to the Difficulty level 5. Okay. Now you may also want to try uh, substituting Berserk with a uh, full throttle. Technically, it should work. Okay. So, but it may affect the car speed a bit because it increases the car time. So to be safer, you should just uh, go with your berserk. So again, the sequence is uh, double hit, berserk, then sleep, and then stone curse. So I think I missed the stone curse, so you can see that she healed for this first round. Let's hope we can finish her off. Uh, the second stone curse, okay successful preventing her from curing so double hit berserk okay and the sleep and then finally stone curse so stop her from curing successfully okay double hit again so we are doing good here so important is as long as you don't run out of the sp then you'll be fine so if you are short of sp then you have to just slot in uh, intelligent gems to boost your intelligence okay oh almost there oops yeah you see i almost run out of a spell point here so uh, done it so difficulty one to five using the same skill set and at the power just less than five hundred thousand with that, you can the activate the artifact again. So again, this is my pet setup. Bogan, the Angeling Mistress, as well as Utata. And this is the skill set again. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.